Come right on in. You're at Father Fish. All right. What are you going to buy with your new tank? I'm going to tell you a few things you need and some other things you really don't need. Let's start with what you need. You need a tank. You need a light. Now you don't need to spend a lot of money on the light. They're really excellent LEDs. The price has gone way down on them. You can get an LED to fit a 20 gallon tank for well under $50. You can get one for 10 bucks. That will be more or less adequate. Second thing you need is a heater. It is important to have a heater. You need to be able to keep your tank at a stable temperature, 78 to 82 degrees. That will keep the fish from getting sick. Number three is a filter. Now I recommend an air pump with a sponge filter. It's simple, it's effective, they don't break down, it'll last for years, and it's inexpensive. The other item I strongly recommend you have for your new tank is sand. Not gravel, but sand. Sand provides a wealth of beneficial options that gravel simply does not provide. Now, if you really want to get sophisticated about this, Get some soil, garden soil will work fine. The soil sold in uh, pet shops for aquariums is also effective. Put one inch of that soil in your tank and cap it, that is top it with two inches of sand. That's going to provide a growing layer for plants. And that's the next thing you need in your tank is living plants. If you set up the substrate, the sand and the dirt, as I described, then the plants will be able to begin thriving right away. Very well. What do you not buy for your new aquarium? Number one, you do not buy anything that customizes the water. The only single thing you need to worry about is whether there are chloramines in your municipal water supply. You need to call them up and find out. If there are, it must be treated. The very best treatment the easiest, the simplest, is sodium thiosulfate. That is the active ingredient in, in water treatment products. Read the label. Sodium thiosulfate. If it is on the label and in the chemical and you have chloramines, buy it. What it will do is it will break the bond that exists between chlorine and ammonia. It will get rid of the chlorine. It will allow the ammonia to remain free. By having plants in your tank, that ammonia will be taken up. The next item not to buy is any kind of medication. It's frankly a waste of money unless you know exactly what you're treating for. Buying a medication in the expectation that you may need it because the fish might get sick does not compute. You need to know what the sickness is before you know what to medicate it with. So don't buy medications on the off chance that you might have a problem. The likelihood is that after treating, you're still gonna have the problem. Number three, do not buy plastic plants. Plastic plants deteriorate as they are a petroleum product. They will break down. It takes a while, about a year. But when they begin to break down, they will foul the water. Don't buy them, don't put them in your tank. Number four, gravel. Gravel is the enemy of a healthy tank. I know it's cheap. I know it's commonly available. 
I know every store out there wants to sell you gravel. Don't buy it. It guarantees sick fish. It creates a septic system, a cesspool in the bottom of your tank that fouls everything that comes into it and releases that into the water column. You do not want gravel, you want sand, which does just the opposite. The other item you don't want is more than one kind of fish food. Fish do not appreciate a wide range of food. Feed them one thing. Make sure it is the best quality you can provide. That is to say, feed live food if you can get it or raise it. Feed frozen food if you can't. If that's not available, freeze-dried food is good. And below that are all of the manufactured foods. If you are going to use a manufactured food, and I do on occasion, make sure it is the very best quality you can buy. Don't buy cheap food. It contains filler that fouls the water. Very well, that's it. It's very simple. Things you need and things you don't need. Stick with the things you need. Don't get suckered into buying something you don't need. And then come on over to Discord and we'll help you get that tank started in grand, grand shape. And you will be delighted. I guarantee it. This is Father Fish. Come on back, learn more, and grow with us. Bye for now.